hello everybody are you doing casey once again i'm happy to be back it's been quite a while uh guys we made 2k subscribers on this channel thanks to you guys thanks so much for subscribing uh leave the thumbs up button on every video it would mean so much help me grow and uh if you have any questions and uh anything that you want to ask about any suggestions on how we can make this channel better uh please leave it in the comment section okay uh one shout out to alia in the netherlands uh my friends out there alan my student uh mommy divine uh, shakira in, uh, in dubai I love you guys. Uh, thank you for always following and all those guys always here watching and following. It means so much. Keep following. After I'm, uh, today I'm looking at uh, how you can use the right hand to sound professional, sound better uh, when you're doing any song. Okay, I'm using a, a gospel song called To The River. I'm sure I'm positive that most of you know that song. So uh, what I'm teaching applies to any song that you can uh that you can that you, you want to play or that you want to do otherwise nah, bagala nyo, uh, take care of yourselves let's get into the, the lesson right about now now the right hand can be used to do a lot of things that uh, include picking uh strumming uh, strumming and brushing what some people do is uh they do pick they're doing the chorus and they do the strumming when they are doing the chorus or the song for example um, This is the verse, and I'm just doing the picking. I am going, Lord, I need to meet you there. Precious Jesus, I am ready to surrender every the strumming okay so there's so different so many different types of picking you can pick just you're doing you're just doing just the thumb when you just start beginning I just use the thumb going all the way down but remember when you're picking it is so uh, important that you remember to always consider your root note of every chord that you're playing or that you're picking constant the, the root notes in this case when i'm doing the g chord i start with the sixth string when i'm doing the c chord i start with the fifth, fifth string when i'm doing the d chord i start with the fourth string so it is so good when you're doing the picking uh, even the strumming to consider the, the root note of every chord because it's the root note that gives the identity of that particular chord that you're playing okay so You can use the thumb and the index. So the thumb is alternating between the root notes of every chord C, G, then the D. So the index finger is just playing the strings one two three that's the G chord when I go the C chord I play the C note which is the fifth string uh, third fret then index finger plays strings one two and three back to G Playing my idea, I start with a D string, which is the open fourth string. So the index two does the same thing of the G. Strum. 
coming and uh, let's let me talk more about the picking so you can use uh these four fingers remember we don't use the pinky or the small finger so you can use the this is kind of hard but with practice everything gets there eventually so what i'm doing this thumb is still doing the same thing the powder with the thumb you can play the powder so uh the ring finger is playing string one the middle finger is playing string number two and the index finger is playing string number three so i'm doing this So first side does it sounds like this. C D. Okay, so picking can go as further as this. strumming they're so also different so many different ways that you can do the strumming uh, in this case i've just been using the index fingers up and down Lord, I need 